Hey there, and thanks a lot for tuning into this video. This is part of the series of the Black Mesa uh, Blue Shift hallway scene. And in previous videos, we textured the pipes, the wall, the door, and the floor. And I want to move on now and texture the electrical stuff here. All right, so uh, if we just uh, come in, you'll notice that I've got my seams already barked, and uh, there's nothing special about what I've done here, but uh, I've just gone ahead and done something. And so I'm going to take uh, the scene without the light, I guess. So we're going to get, we're going to hide that. I'm going to hide that. And we're going to take all of this, save that, and I'm going to export that as an FBX. And we're going to call this uh, Blue Shift Hallway. All right. So I've got a new name there. It's a more descriptive name of what that is. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to open the uh, recent the recent uh, work that we had done. And so there's, there's the door we've got on there. And now I'm going to go Edit, Project Configuration, Select, Blue Shift Hallway, FBX, and hit OK. And we should get everything textured except for the electrical stuff. All right, so there we are. Hopefully that's going to look okay against the bricks. I may still do some adjustment, but we'll see. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to bake the mesh maps. But I'm only going to do it for the electrical stuff. And you can see I've got this uh, material coming in as a texture set. All right, so we're going to bake the mesh maps. I'm going to select only the electrical stuff to do. And uh, actually, let me go back to here. Uh, 2048, uncheck ID and thickness. Okay, we are good to go. The electrical stuff is now baked and it looks okay. And so we can get the texturing. So let's just make sure we're on electrical here. I'm going to delete that and we're going to start creating this. And I think what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to use a plastic glossy to start off. And let's change this to a sort of a mid mid gray color and I'll bring the roughness up like that and it's probably okay sometimes I break the rules and I add a little metallic but we won't do that we don't want anyone seeing us do that let's just focus on the electrical because it's a little easier now so I'll bring that like that okay so on here I'm going to add a filter and I'm going to use the usual filter, this matte finish uh, rough. We'll do that. So you can see that. What that's doing there. I'm going to drop the scale and drop the intensity. So it's just, just there. Like that. Okay, so that's good so far. The next thing we're going to do is let's add some edges on here. We'll just choose uh, the white and we'll do a black mask and a generator and we'll try this metal edge like that drop the the wear a bit maybe i'll try try planer mm, the grunge a bit and what i really want to do is just drop the curvature weight and just have the slightest bit of uh, white around there and i can also do it here i don't i'll, I'll leave it there for the moment and i'm going to call this edges but I also want some red on here. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to actually duplicate this layer underneath here. And I'm going to change this color to red. Like that. Add a black mask. And put my polygon fill. And I will choose, I may choose actually the mesh fill. Do the whole thing, do the whole thing. And then uh, maybe... We'll see let's go X and see if I can on here maybe I can grab let's see does that get all that okay that's pretty much what I would want there and so let's come in on this one and see if I can just get that so how did I do all right so with that done I'm gonna come back actually to my edges and I think I am going to decrease that a little bit. And they're just barely there. Okay, that's good. That's the red. I want to do a little bit more, though, with this stuff. I'm going to duplicate that again. And I'm going to change this one 
to a dark like a black kind of plastic uh, but I don't want it there so I'm going to uh, clear the mask and I'm going to come to my polygon fill and I'm going to no not that one this one here and mesh and I'm going to do all this stuff down here actually there we go and I think I may do all of this and this is actually where I'll see my edges and see what how much I want to change so let's grab those grab that let's just see how that's doing okay I missed one there yeah see I'm going to reduce the edges uh, we'll do that in a second I just want to get all this stuff and I think I'm going to do the same up here uh, not, not, not all that that and that and this thing and I'll leave those as they are for now okay I can up the resolution in a bit I just want to come back to my edgeware yeah, reduce that I just want a little bit here and there especially on the black yeah that's probably okay as it is I'm gonna save okay cool so next let's put an emission on this bulb so there's my edges actually let's do dirt first uh, so fill color and roughness roughness all the way up color and the dark brown the black area something like that black mask and generator we're going to just go ahead with the uh with the dirt generator and just really tone it down and that's going to help with the uh the pipes and all that stuff as well so we just need a little bit of dirt in there okay something like that dirt all right next we're going to do that bulb thing here so let's do that Sorry about that. Um, okay, I need to come over here and in my ch in my channels, I need to add emissive. So we'll do that. I'll create a fill and I'll go for maybe just emission. We'll see if I want color as well. I'm gonna bring that up to there. Add a black mask over here and choose mesh and choose that. And you know, it's not gonna glow or anything very much here unless I come in here and I up the emissive intensity and also over here I come into activate post effects glare and open this up maybe switch this to bloom or something and we can get a little something but then then you can get a little bit of sort of reflection off of these things as well but I'll, I'll leave it like that because it looks okay and as far as this stuff goes it maybe sort of similar to the to the boxes here so it looks like uh see you can get that off them that looks a little bit like metal okay so what else is there to do other than that decal well we can put a couple of alpha like bolts in here so let's call this emissive on top here let's snap into orthographic and uh, zoom in a little bit i might actually reduce the dirt you know because looking at it here and you can paint the dirt into you know all you got to do is add a paint layer here and then go to it you know with a dirt brush or something i'm not going to do that right now um i think i'm just going to use am i going to use a i'll, I'll try with this a paint a paint layer and i'm going to go for color and height and the color is going to be like a dark and the height i'm going to bring up i think and choose an alpha i'm going to choose a bolt there's lots of alpha bolts you can find here or there you can use something built in and let's just see what this looks like here i was thinking i would do a couple of little things here uh, okay it's the wrong way so let's go down to there okay so i'll just make it a little bit smaller we'll try this now i need to bring the resolution up so i'll do that in just a second and hopefully those will look a bit better so I'm just going to do them on the front face here actually I may do them in a couple of other spots um, I don't know how well you'd actually see them but depending on the where the render is let's say I did that and um, 
I don't know, maybe I would do one somewhere here. Now, not everything has the same textual density, uh, and so that can be an issue. I don't think I'm going to do them anywhere else. Um, yeah, let's uh, come up here. Let's try 2048. Okay, so the bolts look fine there. Okay, so I'm still in orthographic. Uh, let's just come out of that for the moment. And, you know, to get them, they look actually okay. I don't really need to do the dirt anchor thing, but let's try it in case uh, we haven't seen that for a while. So I'll call these my bolts. And I'm going to drag it under the dirt generator here. And I'm going to add an anchor point to this. It's going to be called bolts. So come to the dirt and scroll down to micro details. Turn on micro height because I'm using alpha as so the height. Scroll down to this and choose anchor point bolts. And we don't see anything yet. I'm going to switch this from base color to height and watch the bolt. And they got a little darker. And I'll leave it like that. You can play with the levels if you want. But that's, you know, using the anchor point to get that uh, effect in there. So that's okay there. And um, I think that leaves us with just the decal. And the thing about decals is that sometimes you'll bring in a PNG and you'll get a gray border around your decal. I'm not sure that I can illustrate that here or not. But I'm going to snap into, actually I don't really need to be an orthographic, but... I'm going to open my UVs as well, and they're not pretty, but uh, they're, they seem to be working so far. Uh, this face down here is actually this face, and so we're going to keep that in mind as we do some deco stuff next. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a PNG. So I'm going to import a PNG decal uh, that I made. <laughs> it's this thing here. I just called it test decal. Uh, I'm going to bring that in. Now, you could use any PNG. You can see I've got a bunch. You can find some on the Internet. Um, I'm going to bring this in as a texture and my current session. Okay, so there it is with the blue box around it. So the way I'm going to do this is I want to make sure that I avoid that gray border that you sometimes get around these. I'm going to show you a different way of, of doing decals. And the way we do it is create a fill layer. I'm going to call this decal, or decal 1, and I'm just going to have color, and I'm going to drag this into the base color. Now, it goes all crazy, and it goes everywhere, and I don't really need this like that. I kind of might want it like that, so I can just watch here. And as we look here, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to hold shift, and I'm going to start scaling it, but it, it repeats. It's all over the place. So I'm going to come to the layers, sorry, layer properties, and under UV wrap, I'm going to choose none. So now my decal is right here. You can start to see it there. I'm going to zoom in on this side. Scale it down. Now it's right side up here for me, but it's actually upside down in the, uh, you know, on my model. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to rotate it, holding shift. There we go. Rotated it. And now we'll just get it to fit. Take it and move it in here. And the nice thing about doing it uh, sort of this way is you could stretch it out if you want, if it you know, doesn't warp your image too much. So just check it out over here and see if it looks relatively centered. Okay. And there's just the slightest touch of it. I don't think it's being picked up on camera. But I'm going to, the way that you can get rid of it and the way that I'm going to do this anyhow, all right, is this is a fill and I've got my decal. What you do is you add an anchor to this, and it's called decal, add a black mask to this, add a fill starting to show up again in the grayscale of the fill, choose the anchor you just made, decal. But it's gotten rid of a little bit of black, so I'm gonna switch the alpha behavior to extract alpha, my decal is back. And you won't or shouldn't have that outline. So if you ever have, you know, a uh, an image that you made, a PNG, and it doesn't fully come in um, transparent, you have to deal with the alpha. And this is, this is a way to do that. All right, so I've got my decal on here. 
And I want one on the other one as well, but I can do that separately because what I want to do now, and that might even be too big. I don't know, really. Even. You do whatever you want to do, whatever you think looks good. I, I think something like that maybe is a little bit better. But I want to grunge this up a little bit. And so the way that I sort of like to do this, and I can actually come back to just 3D. All right, the way that I like to do this is... I'm going to create a folder, and I'm going to call this decal. Drag this into the folder. Okay, Nothing has changed. On the folder, add a black mask. And now, switch over in my brushes to something like a dirt brush. You can try different things. Dirt brush. And when you do that, you'll get all kinds of, you know, jitters and stuff like that. that that's okay we'll leave it like that uh, I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller and paint and the decal starts coming through you can press X and you can get rid of some of the decal now I'm not ha my scene is not overly grungy so I'm just going to do something like that so you can experiment with different brushes as you sort of brush this thing back in like, for example, if I take this, make it a bit smaller, you turn this up if you want. Let's see what happens. I just pressed X. Okay, and you can do that. X, I'm going to bring it back. Okay. And there I have my damaged decal. Now, it's the same process to do the other one, so I'll just go ahead and do that, and then we'll come back uh, and we'll pick up the video where we where we left off. We're essentially done for this video. All right, I just want to show you the whole thing and see how it's looking together. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other decal. There is my second decal on. It's the same decal, but uh, that's where it is right now. So with that done, let's unhide everything else and have a look there's what the scene is looking like there we go without you know, without proper shadows and without, you know, bringing that into Blender. All right, and that's what we're going to be doing next because we're going to do that last light, which is right there. And then uh, I think we're pretty much ready to go. Okay, so there is the electrical stuff. Hopefully it looks okay to us. Okay. All right, thanks so much for watching. Hope you'll tune in for the next video. We're getting close to the end. See you again soon.